Hey guys, it's Matt here again, and I'm super excited for this week's episode of Footprints. It's a show where we go from one spot to another, and this is based on people's recommendations. Okay, so we'll go to spot A, and then we'll get recommendations from the chef or the owner or foodie, and that's how we can hopefully, fingers crossed, find some truly amazing spots. Okay, now, we're in Shah Alam once again. We're gonna go to this first spot. It's called Soup Power Utaru, Soup Utaru Power, something like that, okay? But apparently, really good. Let's go. So we actually got wind of this place because I was walking around this area. Uh, we're in Shalom right now, in the heart of Shalom. I don't know this place at all. Walked around and we saw this uncle and we're like, Hey, Pakcik, mana this place that we can makan hari hari? And he's like, you gotta come over here. So this is what he recommended us to try, which is the bihun soup. And if you walk to the back, right? Oh my god, the smell is addictive. It, like, that's the first thing you smell, that soup that's just boiling at the side. And then you have a choice of either chicken or beef. I've gone ahead and put beef inside because I always think that, you know, beef with soup, it's a really, really good combination. So they've got other things here, like they've got like the nasi ayam and stuff, which is quite honestly what a majority of the other people are ordering. But I'm gonna follow what the budget says and try the soup. Uh, I haven't had meat soup in a long, long while, guys. So this should be really, really interesting. Let's try soup. Ooh. Wow, the soup stop itself is really, really good. <laughs> it's like it's been boiling for a long, it's, it's like, it's the kind of soup that you get when you boil it for a long, long time. The stock is just really, really, really tasty. Just the soup alone, wow. I don't even need to know how the medium tastes like. I think I really like this, let's, let's give it a try anyway. You know what, you can put anything into this bowl of soup. You can put noodles, you can put rice, you can put mihun, you can put kway teow, you can put whatever you want, now, okay? It doesn't really matter because the soup is good. The soup is excellent. This soup, if you're making the steamboat soup, <laughs> so good. Let's try a bit of the beef. Check this out. I told them to give me uh, like, like the part with the most lemak. Mm. I honestly think the beef and the rest of the meat, okay. It's a bit of average slightly. But it's the soup here, man. The soup memang power, right? I think I understand what they put inside the soup. It's like... Malele, you know. Oh, so good. Guys, this is a really good spot for like our first spot. I can't wait to see what else this place has to offer. I'm going to go ask the um, owner and maybe we can talk to him a little bit about, like, about this place and also where to go next. Hey bro, tak dapat nama tadi. Terlalu petanya. Nama saya Amir. Amir? Ha. Amir, okay. Amir, sup kat sini memang power. <laughs> Boleh habis lah semua ni. Okay. So saya nak tanya, dah dekat sini berapa tahun dah uh, kedai ni? Kedai ni dah lebih kurang 16 ke 17 tahun macam tu. 16 ke 17 tahun? Ui. Saya kerja kat sini dah 10 tahun. Ini pertama kali saya makan kat sini? Ui. Alhamdulillah. Ha. Kalau tak, kalau pakcik tadi tak, tak recommend kan memang tak datang sini? Oh, ya ke? Ha. So kat, kat dalam sup tu dah tak apa lah. Ya, perencah memang ada kita buat sini dah macam tu. Ini mesti secret recipe ni. Ui, semua tak, tak tak boleh berbincang eh. Selain dari tu, saya nak tanya dekat sini Amir. Mana tempat lagi yang macam sedap makan? Yang orang ramai tak, tak tahu, tak kenal. Kalau nak masuk si campur, depan ada, sebelah pun ada. Macam dia, uh, ni keningo, yang ini wiras jati. Yang, yang tu masak apa? Uh, dia macam campur lah, ada Jawa, lepas tu Melayu macam tu. Macam benar je. Nah, boleh lah, cuba. Alright, that's where we're going to go next man. This nearby, let's go. Alright guys, we are now in Seri Kiningau. This is the second spot that's been recommended. Of course they have like nasi lao when you can come here and order that. We thought we'd do something a little bit different because I'm quite tired of eating like nasi lao, right? Every day nasi lao. There is a frying station that's right outside. Oh, it, they're part of the same restaurant, but um, it's like a frying station. I've got here and ordered the nasi kukus sotong, which is what you see here. It's basically fried squid. Okay, that's deep fried, and then uh, it's got like uh, batter and stuff like that, and then they, they put like some sort of like tulai inside, and then they drown it at the side with like some uh, sambal. So the rice is actually in here. It comes in this metal casing. I'm gonna lift it up right now. Ooh, panas. Panas, panas. Macam mana aku nak buka ni ya? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. 
There you go. Oh, I love how it just topples. That's really, really nice. Okay, let's mix it around a little bit. Let's see if it's well cooked. Mmm. Ooh. That's very interesting. The curry paste goes really well with sambal because sambal is like uh, sourish and a bit uh, spicy. The curry, it's that powdery kind of It's like powdery kind of curry, but I like the fact that they didn't overpower the whole thing with sugar. I gotta say, it's very, very set up. Lah. It's delicious. Oh my god, let's try sotong. Sotong is so hard to get right because, like, if your sotong is not fresh or it's patisa jewel or whatever it is, right? Like, some rather when you defrost it and you fry it, it's really not the same. Let's give it a try. Mm. I think the sauce okay. I'm more impressed, to be honest with you, with batter that they use. And I mean, obviously for this price range, I don't know if you can get like the top range sauce or whatever it is, like, right? I think sauce is average. But everything else with this dish, from the kwa to the curry, works really, really, really well. The part needs to itself. Lah. Guys, we're almost done here. Now is the part where we talk to the guy and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, get another recommendation for a place that's somewhere nearby here. Let's go. Guys, we're here with Yipin right now and Yipin's gonna tell us a little bit more about like, this amazing dish. Yang kari itu, apa dekat dalam kari itu? Ada perencahnya, ada bubu-bubu lah, yang tertentu. Semua tak nak cakap eh. Recipe secret eh. Okay, nak tanya satu, satu benda lagi bang. Dekat tempat ni eh, mana lagi yang bang rasa Memang sesuai untuk cuba, sedap lah cuba Sri Alam Sri Alam? Sri Alam kat ke mana? Kat terus ke, ke bawah ya? Eh? Di belakang Oh kat belakang ni? K kalau pergi situ, apa yang sedap makan? Yang, yang abang suka? Uh, well, sup, sup takinya Sup daging? Ya, yeah, sup daging Oh, so means kalau bang, kalau you pergi situ memang order sup daging? Okay. Sup daging Memang sedap lah sup dagingnya dia Another sup daging spot guys Okay, let's see if this spot is better than the first spot Let's go Alright guys, so early on we got a recommendation to go to the uh, Kedai Belakang and so Lao. We went there, not very promising lah, because they had like uh, three or four different dishes. It's like nasi lao again, which I'm totally done with for today. But we went to the shop and we asked this girl, she's so cute, uh, on where she usually eats. And she was saying Popetta, Popetra, something along those lines. Did a quick Google search and I think it's this Western food that's right down the road. That's where we're going to go next. Let's go check it out. Alright guys, we're now in our last and final spot. This place has been recommended heavily by not one, but two chefs. It's called Popero and they have a lot of big ticket items, okay? They've got like all these Western... Uh, I decided to go for something really special. I asked them what's, what's really, really unique here. And it's this, like, it's called Sir Lamb Nasi Goreng, okay? And basically, it's Nasi Goreng, but with mutton inside. And you know I love my mutton. They've got like some fried onions on top comes with these biscuits which is going to add some texture some vegetables you've got your fried egg and this special sauce nice and spicy it's basically sambal okay sambal Ooh. so it comes in this beautiful packet that's what i ordered let's give it a try guys i'm gonna mix this up oh nice and steamy hot and Mmm, smells really fragrant that fried onion that they put on top that's really adding a lot of color to this uh to this dish Oh, check this out, guys. I like the fact that it's not like stuck together. Let's give it a try. Mmm. So, it tastes like normal, regular fried rice, but the, the mutton really colors the fried rice. Like, it's so good. I it's just like regular fried rice, but because of the mutton and because of how gamey the mutton tastes like, right, it leaks into the rice. Woo! Look up. You know, you add it with a bit of this sambal. Oh my god, look at this. But be careful, uh, this sambal is extremely spicy. Letak sambal sikit, ambil keropok, masuk campur-campur Into a nice little spoonful Some daging, uh, some uh, daging kambing on the side Makan Hmm, confirm kena makan dengan sambal This sambal is like, this sambal manis, but at least it's dia pedas The only thing I think maybe they can improve on is like When you come top of the lamb, maybe not have all the bones There's quite a lot of bones in here, so you gotta be very careful when you are uh, eating it But the rice together with the fried like kambing sit up Woo -hoo -hoo. 
what we've done for today. Super duper full, man. But this is why I love uh, footprints. Like, you really get to discover some true hidden gems. I think out of three spots, I really enjoy all three. But one of my favorites is the, the Misu Utara. That one really far away. You know, it's not an understatement at all. I, I would definitely go back there. If you like what we do here on this show, please recommend, like, subscribe, you know, share with your friends. Let us know what you like or dislike about the show and we will try and improve on it. In the meantime, we'll see you guys next week, Wednesday, same time, same place, right here on Footprints.